You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife, Trooping the Colour. Mission Upstage. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. This weekend, it's Trooping the Colour, an annual event. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what it is, a little bit of background. Trooping the Colour is a ceremonial event performed every year on Horse Guards Parade in London by regiments of the Household Division. It's done to celebrate the official birthday of the British Sovereign. It's also known as the Sovereign's Birthday Parade. Similar events are held in other countries of the Commonwealth. In the United Kingdom, it is, with the state opening of Parliament, the biggest event of the ceremonial calendar, and watched by millions on television and on the streets of London. Historically, Colours were once used on the battlefield as a rallying point. They display the battle honours of a regiment and are a focal point of trooping the colour. The ceremony has marked the Sovereign's official birthday since 1748. Each year, one of the five-foot guards regiments of the household division is selected to slowly troop, carry, its colour through the ranks of guards who stand with arms presented. During the slow march past, the colours are lowered before the monarch and during the quick march past the colours fly. The monarch will salute the colours in return. During the ceremony, the monarch processes down the mall from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade in a royal procession with the sovereign's escort of household cavalry, mounted troops or horse guards. After receiving a royal salute, the monarch inspects his troops of the household division and the king's troop, Music is provided by the massed bands of the foot guards and the mounted band of the household cavalry, together with a corps of drums and pipers, totaling approximately 400 musicians. Once obtained, the colour is displayed at the head of the march past the sovereign in slow and quick time by the foot guards, the household cavalry and the king's troop. Returning to the Buckingham Palace, the monarch surveys a further march past from outside the gates, Following a 41-gun salute by the King's Troop in Green Park, the Royal Family make an appearance on the Palace Balcony for a Royal Air Force flypast. Accordingly, it is a particularly noteworthy event in the ceremonial calendar. It's televised. It's rather good to watch as well, particularly with regard to the music that's played and the marching that you see. So that's what's going to take place this weekend. Naturally, this poses a problem for this one's wife, because as a narcissist, it's not about her. We know that she has particular form when it comes to upstaging people, and this is because it is driven by her narcissism. Because of the way that she was created... She had a genetic predisposition towards narcissism allied with the fact that she was exposed for a sufficient period to a lack of control environment. She is hypersensitive to threats to control. There are lots of different threats of control that can affect a narcissist, and one is the fact that people's attention is on elsewhere and not on the narcissist. For those of you who are not narcissists, that wouldn't concern you. You'd understand that people would be looking elsewhere, watching something else rather than looking at you. After all, you're not the main event. But the narcissist needs to be the main event. Because if they are not, they are wounded and starved of fuel. And thus, they start to feel weaker. That they start to feel undermined, that there is a sense of anxiety that is generated. It isn't pleasant, and they don't know what it is. It's like a nagging itch, but they don't know where to scratch, and thus the narcissism intervenes by looking to nullify that threat to control and draw fuel so that that sense of unease, that nagging itch, becomes scratched. Thus, whenever the royal family does something, this affects this one's wife 
because of the fact that she knows the individuals that are concerned, and they've been painted black. They are now the enemy. And thus trooping the colour as a prestigious and landmark event in the royal calendar means that attention is going to be on the royal family, which means it's not on this one's wife and it will wound her. In the past, she has shown repeatedly the need to upstage. She announced her pregnancy with Archie at Eugenie's wedding. She walked in front of the troops, upstaging them, the veterans, at the Invictus event in Dusseldorf. She announced the American Riviera Orchard Retirement Homes launch to overshadow Williams Diana Awards. The Oprah interview was scheduled to coincide with the Queen's Commonwealth Day speech. The Bench release was announced just before Kate's photography album. The Christmas card showing the children, the one that many people have thought is photoshopped, was released before the Queen's image from her annual speech ahead of her Christmas Day speech. The first official picture of the monarch with Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales back in September 2022, which was the first photo since Charles became king, was then met with photos being released by this one's wife from her One Young World speech. There was the image of Archie, which appeared over a Zoom call with this one's wife and Doria, and that was released at the time of the Earthshot Awards. And there are other instances as well where this one's wife has sought to upstage not only others, but members of the royal family. After all, she regularly upstages Harry, doesn't she? Accordingly, Liz is driven by her narcissism. Her narcissism tells her, you need to do something to gain attention. You need to do something so that attention isn't on the royal family. She doesn't think in terms of needing control. She doesn't think in terms of being wounded. But it gets to her that there is this focus on the royal family. It should have been me. I should have been the monarch. That's the kind of deluded thinking that her narcissism would cause. And therefore it makes her essentially say to herself, I can't stand that the attention is going to them. I need some attention. I need people looking at me. And therefore motivates her to seek to upstage the event. Accordingly, what do you think that this one's wife will do, driven by her narcissism, for mission upstage to ensure that attention is brought back onto her in some shape or form? Do you think she'll announce that Harry's now been sectioned? Or do you think we might get some update in relation to American Riviera Orchard Retirement Home? Or do you think that patient has been put out of its misery and is now lurking in a shallow grave? What about some parking lot pap shots? Will we get something in that vein, perhaps? Or maybe she'll announce her own health scare. Maybe there will be a couple of back-of-the-head shots of Archie and Lilibet. Perhaps there'll be another portrait released by Mies and Harriman of this one's wife and Harry. Perhaps there'll be some reports of her doing things, for instance, going out for lunch with somebody famous, having dinner with somebody notable, attending a concert, perhaps, but there'll actually not be any photographs. These are some of the things that a narcissist like this one's wife could very well engage in for the purposes of upstaging. And mission upstage must be at the forefront of her mind, caused by her narcissism. What do you think she will do? How do you think she'll go about trying to get that all-important control and attention onto her? Let me know in the comments section. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.